All right, welcome back to Singularity, this time for part four. And I know it's been a while, but I think I've still got my head wrapped around this game somewhat. As I recall, there was something rather large that seemingly wanted to follow me up the elevator, but didn't quite get the chance, thankfully. Right, so uh, this way, is it? What we got? Let's start with a note, shall we? To Colonel Ivanov, Weapons Division, from Dr. Glushkov. Okay, Colonel Ivanov, please understand that I hold Dr. Korkin in the highest regards, but as of late, his behavior has become erratic. He mumbles to himself, he's extremely irritable, and he is nervous to the point of being paranoid. I believe he's suffering a nervous breakdown. Could you meet with Dr. Korkin? Perhaps you could convince him to take some time off or seek professional help. Uh, thank you. Nice. Ah, uh, I don't think so. Right, how are we doing with the old weapons and stuff? I think it's all looking pretty good. Right. There he is! Fuck. Uh, Alright. I guess I'll maybe see you later. Hang on, what the hell? Accompanied with a helicopter, what the fuck? Right, well, I guess we've got like a common enemy. <laughs> Nobody wants to deal with that guy. What's this? He started it all. I certainly did. Ah, oh, just for a moment I thought I was going to fix the broken bottle with this TMD, but no, it's, uh, it's not to be. Uh, we still have not found the American, but he must still be on the island. My men will keep looking. Perhaps Dr. Barasov knows more than he says he does. Dr. Demichev, right. I'd like to see him again, after all these years. Even though it's been... Oh, I'm at the max, am I? Yeah. Even though it's been like a few seconds, really, for me. All right. Another note? Oh, another one of these as well. Why not? Uh, okay, I wish Dr. Demichev would let me go home. I'm not feeling very well today. Where's my bucket? Ugh, lovely. Okay, well, that seems to be the long and short of it, really. Do we go through here? Yes, whoa. So seriously, what's the deal with these things? Can I not shoot? No, oh, okay. I, I can shoot them, I just have to shoot the right bit, I guess. Where it's sprouting from, not where it's sprouting to, I guess. So, that's fine? Yeah, okay. I get it. Whoa, okay. Alright. What the fuck? Oh, okay. That's the weak bit. Okay, that was simple. Well, I suppose I didn't kill it. Oh. Right, um, tell you what, I'm going to have a look at what's inside this box. You guys deal with him as best you can. I have a feeling that they're not going to be finishing him off, though. Okay, anything else? Any more? <laughs> More notes, of course. I have drawn up new plans for a vault to secure the TMD. Building it will be a large undertaking and difficult to keep secret. Who can I trust enough to help build it? Hmm. Maybe you noted it on the wall. Oh, you did note it on the wall, right. <laughs> Not bad. Well, the shooting stopped. But I can still hear them. What the hell? There you go. Feels like I've been in this room before. <laughs> Thank you. Right. I've just discovered that Dr. Demichev has secretly continued with human experimentation, even though it's been suspended. I must tell Dr. Barasov. He will not be pleased. No, but then what's he going to do? He's the nice one. Bloody hell. Now I've got this. Everything needs to be fixed, you know? Absolutely everything. are nearly impossible. But you are accomplishing what no other scientist on Earth have done. You are harnessing the power of E-99. Continue your work, and know that you are helping Mother Russia in ways you could not possibly imagine. Do you think he was happy with that? I don't know. Maybe he was. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? Oh, can I be cheeky? 
See, I can grab it from this side. Can I? Okay, just leave it there. Can I? Ah, oh, I can't. Oh, never mind. Oh, that looks interesting. That's one of the movie viewers, isn't it? What's this? Oh, they're wrong, are they? Uh, propaganda <laughs> from a propaganda officer. I understand that Dr. Barasov has been spending much time down there. What has he been researching? Keep an eye on him and report any suspicious behavior. Demachev, yeah, keeping an eye on him. Anything else around here? I've got bloody hell, so many notes to all personnel. We are missing some back issues of Propaganda Illustrated. Sounds like a fun magazine. If you remove materials from the records room, return them when you're done. Do not leave them in the restroom. Hmm, okay, maybe we should check the restroom. Ooh. Man, I'm pretty, pretty much full on every gun at this point, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure, that's what I wanted to do. The Chronolite. What's that? My teleportation experiments have progressed as planned. The first step was accomplished and I have determined how to alter an item so that it is out of phase without time. Unfortunately, locating the item once it was shifted became a major problem, but I created the Chronolite to address that difficulty. All right. In this test, an object is shifted into an alternate dimension, rendering it invisible. Cool. Now, with the aid of the chronolite, the object can be seen. It can also pull faced items back into our time. The chronolite is a huge step forward. Once it has been miniaturized, it will be an incredible benefit to my teleportation research. Praise the deeds of Greg Lenin and Star. <laughs> yeah. Or not. Right, so is that going to be another sort of TMD upgrade at some point? I suppose it's got to be, right? There was the other one as well that we uh, that we learned about. I still haven't got that. I guess that's going to be a thing. What? Why, why do these things keep sprouting out like that? Is there a specific reason for them? Oh, okay. <laughs> Stim packs, if nothing else, right? And is that it? I, well, yeah. Apparently it is. Okay, well. Um, I think it might be time to... Have a little look outside. Where are you guys? I hear you, I don't see you. Somewhere over there? Oh, there we go. Oh, right, yep. Can I? Of course I can. Oh, it was a terrible throw, but I did it. Okay, got a sniper rifle there if I want it, I suppose. Can I? Oh, yep, yep. I can throw the grenades back, great. Oh. Nice. Okay, I'm getting like voices, I'm getting shouts from all over the place. I don't suppose they can come to me, right? Oh, I don't know, maybe they can climb up. Alright. Of course, I'm playing through Metro Exodus at this point, and uh, the games are very similar, but they couldn't be more different in some ways. The, the gunplay feels very different. Both fun, just this is definitely much more arcade. Yeah, much more arcade. There he goes, finally down. <laughs> Maybe I should change now. I don't know. Right, still getting some music, so it suggests that maybe there's still someone lurking around here, you know? Let's go down here. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm worrying for nothing. Or maybe I'm not. Either way, yeah, let's go collect some of this ammo. Seems like the Valkyrie is the weapon of choice. Oh, hey, what's this? Oh, another one of these bio formulas. Right, so that's going to be another hero upgrade perk thing. Okay, yeah. 
I uh, don't really use that all too often, but sure, thanks. It's the thought that counts, right? Thanks for that. Right. Yeah, no sign of this sort of, like, giant thing. So, it it got away, I suppose, right? It just got away somehow. Oh, there we go. Uh, might as well waste a health pack. I wonder if there's some sort of hero perk that I can get to upgrade how much I can carry. That'd be nice. Both ammo and medkits and stuff, to be honest. Okay. Let's just keep looking at things, wondering if I can fix them now. Right. Oh, I see. I didn't notice that. Silly me. Are we going down there? Can I sneak under? Uh, I don't know if I can. Hmm. Maybe a little bit too high for me to climb. That looks promising. Hey, that looks good. Alright. Yeah, okay. Uh, I could just, can I pull that through? Yeah, it's just the right height. Hey, there you go. I can solve little physics puzzles. <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd like to hope so at this point, to be honest. Done so many of them. Just ammo. Generic ammo. I like that. Right, let's see. Uh, I, you know what? I'm actually pretty okay with the guns that I've got. And if there's no new additions, why would I change them, right? Maybe I should just give the shotgun a try. What's this? Another note. Uh, okay, to so the colonel again. Um... Sergeant Chertok this time. Colonel Ivanov, I regret to inform you that Dr. Corkin, the head of your teleportation research team, was found murdered in his apartment in late last night. What has me confused is how his assailant was able to enter the room. All the doors and windows were boarded up and nailed shut from the inside. We had to break down the door to get in. I'll keep you informed when any new information is uncovered. Right, it sounds like some sort of time-related murder there. Nice. Um... Okay. Can we go through here at all? No. Oh, that's interesting. Where are we going then? Ah, up there. Well, I suppose I could just press... Yeah, I just press F and the, the footprints will lead me towards it. Yeah, alright, well... Let's pull this back through. It's really handy that you don't waste any of the energy when you're doing it with just random props like this. There you go. Not too bad. Okay, let's see. He still hasn't shown his ugly mug, you know. I'm just wondering when it's gonna when it's gonna occur. Oh damn! Oh, this doesn't seem good. Okay. I, uh, I think I was kind of asking for this, right? Where are you? You've got to be up there. What the fuck, dude? Oh, hey. Right, so, there's... Okay, you've got fucking armor now? Oh, that's great! Yeah! What? Oh, dude. Whoa! Okay, well, that's rough. Yeah, you've got armor now, so I can't actually see that weak spot. Oh, hang on. So yeah, I can throw the barrels. Oh, well, that seemed to stun him. Oh, I can see. Ah, well, I can sort of see his little weak spot there. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Okay, just a couple more times until I get that last little bit of armor off, I suppose. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, that's more like it. Oh. No. Oh, right in the chest. Let's try this instead. What the... Hang on, what? That's a new one. Wait, 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 wait. Is it... Oh, I, okay, I don't think it's quite over yet. I think it's on his back. There you are. 
these bloody... What are they called? Zex? Yeah, the impulse actually does help me take care of them. Oh, hey again. Yeah, it's on his back. Oh, he's got another one. Uh, hey there. Right, can I see your back, please? Bit cool. Jeez, okay. There it is. Oh, okay. On his right side, specifically. That's it. I think the shotgun's pretty good for that. No, oh, oh, Christ. Oh, that was a close one. This shotgun's really good for the... Uh, nope. Where is it now? Hang on. Yeah, the shotgun's really good for the Zex. Just on his head. Alright, just shoot his head then, sure. Uh. <laughs> Grab some ammo on the way. What we got there? Okay, nice. Ah, shit. Oh, sometimes he's running. I don't like it when he's running. Uh, you want that? Nope. <laughs> but Why? Why are you saving? Oh, did I? Ah, I think I got him. Maybe. Son of a bitch. Captain Ranko! Nice timing! Really nice timing. Right. Damn. Okay, well, <laughs> if I collect any more of this stuff, it's like nothing ever happened at all. Let's go! Yeah. Oh. It's locked. Oh, course. fuck. What's locked? That? Oh, okay. I'm trying. Oh, nice. Cool, then. Yeah. Oh, what? What's the button where I could do that? No! I, oh. Help! I am. I'm, don't worry. Don't worry. Someone's got your back. Wait. Whoa. Fuck. Okay. Not ideal. Definitely not ideal. Shit. I don't know if she can actually be killed. Maybe she can. So, yeah, I want to take care of her, really. And try not to shoot her in the back of the head. Lovely. Just what I was after. It's really fun when you actually do shoot them midair. Especially with the shotgun. It just works. Sometimes. Jesus, come on. Oh, okay, you can you can use that even when they're not in, what is it, phase? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Right, 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 okay. Oh, more of this stuff, please. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Dr. Garisov, we made it inside the fence. Yes, yes, one moment. No, oh, right, yeah, this is the tower. Fuck, I wasn't even paying attention to where we were going. This is too much going on. Okay, what the fuck happened with that guy? Dr. Verisol, the power is out. Breaker, we have to hold them off until Verisol gets the power restored. Sure, yeah, why not? The okay. generators are gearing up. Renko, use the TMD to renew the power junctions on the fence. That should buy us some time. Right. Where are they? Alright. Oh, there's one over... Okay, yep, yep, sure. I get it, I get it. And that doesn't cost me any... Okay, it doesn't cost me any energy. Now... Doesn't last too long, though. But right, yeah, if I can just keep these fences electrified, it should make it very, very difficult for anyone to jump over, right? Come on. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is working. This is alright. Is there a limit to how many times I can do this? Because at the moment I'm just sort of saving ammo and the fence is taking care of them. And she is, of course. Good old Catherine. Come on. Oh, I'm going to miss it, I think. No, I'm not. No. I just don't want to get anywhere near the fence at this point. <laughs> Thanks for the tip, Barisov. I mean, honestly, this is making it very easy indeed. 
How long are we doing this for, though? Well, at least a little while longer, I guess. Until they're all dead. Until there are no more Zex. <laughs> right, okay. Where's Catherine gone? Uh, Alright, they might start to overwhelm me now. Huh, it works. Of course it what? Works. Oh, right. It. The elevator should almost be there. Come on, yep, 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 I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. Go, 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 go. Right, Barasov's tower, go. Blimey. Is it worth shooting him? Can they get in? Uh, no. <laughs> if the big one couldn't get in, the little one certainly can't. Right. Yeah, let's get everything reloaded and ready for the next... Assault, I suppose. Okay. My hey. God, you haven't aged a day. Remarkable. <laughs> You've undoubtedly figured out the timeline has been altered. A little bit. And Demichev is the chancellor. Of course. Here, let me show you what happened to the world after you saved Demichev from the burning building. Okay. Oh. Front row seat. From the moment I invented the TMD, Demichev wanted it. He demanded I hand it over for him to use in his research. When I refused, he had me and everyone else who wouldn't cooperate labeled as traitors. If it weren't for you, I would have been killed along with everyone else. Demichev was obsessed with the power and possibilities of the singularity. But a few months after it came online, there was a terrible accident. The singularity exploded, killing thousands instantly. But they were the lucky ones. Those who survived were left to a fate worse than death. The E-99 radiation mutated every living thing on the island, including humans. The island was quarantined and abandoned, but not before E-99 had been effectively mass-produced and implemented in everything from microwaves and vehicles to weapons more powerful than America's atomic bomb. On the heels of this success, Demichev was able to quickly rise through the party ranks, preaching all the while that Russia had a technological advantage. It Someone just mashed their keyboard for that, didn't they? And Premier Khrushchev agreed. Russia launched a preemptive strike against the United States, right. devastating its entire East Coast with a single E-99 bomb. Simultaneous attacks were also launched across Europe. Germany, France, Great Britain. None could stand against the E-99 weapons of the USSR's troops. Within six months, the entire world was under Khrushchev's control. Wow. But not for long. Demichev used his growing number of supporters to oust Khrushchev and install himself as Chancellor for life. Hmm. That brings us up to speed, I suppose. So you see, the timeline has been altered. Right. But it can be corrected. And the singularity is the key. With it, Demichev rose to power and the Soviet Union dominated the world. Right. If you destroy the singularity in the past, history will correct itself. But the only thing that can destroy the singularity is something of equal power. The E-99 bomb Khrushchev desired. There's one <gasps> aboard a freighter that some Bloody invisible barrier carpet. The singularity oh, what? exploded. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Take that elevator down into the old rail line. From there, you'll have to travel to the docks. Catherine and I will do our best to help you. Right. Why do I have to go alone? Okay, so let's see. What else have we got around here before I leave? <laughs> okay. Is that some... Oh no, just a broken bottle. But we do have a note. Oh, this is entry six. We're sort of going in reverse. Uh, I wonder about the origins of the man from the future. How could it even be possible? When will he return? I must do what I can to ensure he's ready when he does arrive. I'm off to my old research. All right. So, red six and seven. Oh, hang on. 
<laughs> if he complains about that, I can only say that he taught me how to do that. Let's see. Go on. Take the elevator. It leads to the old rail line. I know, I know. I'm just exploring. I'm sorry. I'd like to take my time in areas like this before I get back into the chaos outside. Plus, I can read some notes. Your notes. Entry 1. Here we go. I had to lock my tower after the incident. The people were massing at the lower elevator and the looks on their faces were not that of friends. No, I'm sure they weren't. <laughs> okay. Just like the phones and typewriters, I can use them, but no point. Uh, I've discovered a network of cooling tunnels that interlink the island's facilities and installations. These tunnels used to link up the, uh, to underground caves where the initial E-99 ore was discovered. Alright, good to know. Anything else? Uh, no? How? Hmm, let's see. Well, let's, let's actually take a look at the augmenter. Maybe I want to change something, but maybe I don't. Um, I think it was like 5,000 E-99 to buy myself another... Weapon upgrade, so that's not going to be a thing. Iron lung, I'm not too bothered about. Heartiness, yeah. I, I don't know. I might, I might save my E99 for something else. <sighs> Although that's kind of tempting. <laughs> it might help with the Zex, you know. There you go. Look at all this, and he wanted me to go straight back into the elevator. Not a chance in hell. Oh, what about that one? What's that one made of? All right, we'll go in old school. <laughs> you can't resist the shotgun blast. That's it. Okay. <laughs> of course, that's the one with nothing in. Another note and a teddy bear. It's morning. Time to visit a friend. <laughs> this bear belonged to my daughter. She never came with me to Katorga. She stayed with her mother on the mainland. By this time, she's all grown up. I wonder if I'll ever see her again. If I do, I'll bring the bear. But for now, he aids me with my experiments, and he's quite a good listener. I'm very hungry. Do you have any food? No. Well, I don't think I've got any bear food. I'm sorry. Well, now. I'm here in the tower with my rations fading away. Every so often, a lone phase tick comes up from below, possibly looking for nest sites. You must cook them in boiling water and a small dash of my homemade anti-radiation, which, con which consists of garlic, oregano, and a herb only grown here on Katorga, which subsides radiation. Okay, convenient. Taste isn't bad either, apparently. Okay, sorry, what was that you're talking about? A phase tick. Okay. Nice. And yet another note. Okay, entry four this time. In preparation for the man from the future, I've set up special stations around the island to aid in defeating Demichev. I hope he finds them useful. Well, so far, so good, right? All the uh, augmenters and stuff like that. It's great. Okay. I think it's time to go. The elevator will take you to the old rail line. Believe me, I fucking know. I've been hearing you moan about it for the last five minutes. Where are we going again? The old... Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> right. Uh, how deep is the old rail line? Nope. Oh, okay, bye. Deeper than that. Okay. Got another augmenter. There we are. Ah. <laughs> how lazy is that? Oh no, sorry, it's not an augmenter. Oh, this is the upgrade thing. Ah. So what are we getting? Uh, what was wrong with those? Not good enough, apparently. So those two new ones will do what, precisely? Deadlock. Oh, that's what we learned about last time. Yeah, okay, so you got to press and hold E. Uh, a deadlock control creates a sphere of chrono energy that slows time. Okay. Right. Sure, well, now we just sort of walk around with it. Yeah. <laughs> Can I put it back? All right. I think that just slowed down the fan blades. Yeah, okay. That's kind of useful, I suppose. 
Right, well, let's see. Um, uh, sure. Let's just get, you know, max ammo for everything. Or close to it. I don't really fancy spending another 50 for one. That'll do. Hang on a minute. That looks good. But I can't be cheeky with this one. Ah, there you go. Hasn't been too challenging yet, this game. I, uh, I don't know if you can change the difficulty on the fly, but maybe I will. Oh yeah, look at how fast that was spinning. Thank you, Deadlock. Pitiful, man! Come on! I could make that! <laughs> right. Uh, from the looks of it, we might be going into another sort of horror kind of section. Oh, man. Oh, who ate all the pies? What? Oh, boy. What the hell? Is that a little spider? Oh, I crushed one. Great. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, they're very pleased. Rango, can you hear me? Are you alright? Fuck, ow. Okay. Right. Oh, oh, these are the phase ticks, I see. Whoa. Is that it? I think that might be it. Wait, no, I just... I just heard one. I keep hearing something. I don't know what it is, though. Okay. Oh! Oh, okay, that, uh, That's where they come from? Oh, man, okay, well, I've got a lot of these to get rid of. Does that, that doesn't cost me anything. Hey, all right, I'll take that. Oh, I can use that. Oh, give me a sec. I just want to make sure no more ticks are going to assault me. What's in here, then? Just more ammo. Just <laughs> all two. Damn. All right, the big one. Yeah, we'll just leave the big one alone, I suppose. Oh, hang on. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is actually working. Right, well, I guess this is probably to do with the door. Let's see if that's right. Oh, yeah, okay. What the hell? Whoa! It got big and started attacking the others! Whoa, 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 okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to start digging into my supplies now. So. Oh, fuck, okay. Didn't I get rid of all you guys? Well, not all of you, I suppose. Alright, they have a habit of sneaking up on me, it seems, so... Just want to make absolutely sure they're all gone before I advance. Uh, uh this is looking alright, I guess, yeah. Good to go. I think there was a medkit down here, right, so... Nice. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, let's let's go, I think. Taking care of these as we go, since it's free. Why waste the ammo, right? Oh shit. <laughs> oh, for, ah, g wait, guys, where the hell? Okay, I don't know where they're coming from. I guess they're just dropping down from the ceiling, for the ones I can't actually reach. Shit. Right. They become completely passive to me, it looks like. And then just explode after a while. I mean, yeah, that works. Yeah, alright. Alright. 
Oh, okay, okay, it works with some of them. It doesn't work with a lot of them, though. Right, so he's done. He can be my shield, right? right? He actually actively goes after them, which is really cool. Oh, come on. They... They are some sneaky motherfuckers. I could barely hear them over the music, to be honest. Maybe I need to turn my, uh, my sound settings off or something. <laughs> they're so much more powerful when they're big, too. Actually, considering how easily they're sneaking up on me, maybe I won't turn the difficulty up. Not yet. <laughs> Just when I was sort of getting used to things, all these zecks. I say. It still lives after all this time. What's it? Oh wow. Is that it? Oh. Well, it looks fucking delightful. It still lives, does it? Great. Fan dabby dozy. Fucking tremendous. Right, maybe you can give me some sound advice. Damn it. A general evacuation has been ordered, but I can't leave until I've investigated the disturbance near the source. I'll give it a quick look, but I won't stay one second longer than necessary. There's too many bizarre things happening. The island's gone mad. <laughs> You're not fucking kidding. Mad, okay. Well, yeah. Onwards and upwards, right? It can... Oh, it can smell me! Great! Well, do I have, like, <laughs> some sort of odor eliminator? I don't think I packed that. Right. I'm getting, like, rumbling. Just every now and then. I don't know if you can pick this up on the video, but it's just, it's subtle, but it's there. I think it's nearby. I wouldn't be surprised if we walk into a. Oh, God, no! <laughs> if we walk into another boss fight. Oh, hang on. What was that? Oh, I think that was a suicide mission. Okay, <laughs> Kamikaze that went wrong. the other ones. Right. Is there something really good in this locker? Eh, well, no, not really. <sighs> okay, well, yeah, let's... Let's go that way. Maybe grab this, too. I got... Whoa, I got a wheelbarrow! But, well, don't think that's really going to help me too much. Uh, right. Okay, just just run. Just oh. Okay, run, run, run. Let's Whoa, that was close. That actually hurt quite a little bit. Okay. Ah This thing is unbelievably big. Like a Half-Life 2 antlion from hell. Ugly looking thing too. Yeah, I'm gonna need some help with this one, right? Up here. Oh. Demichev's men attacked the tower. Catherine <sighs> distracted them while I headed here. Oh, okay. That was a very close call. Yeah, it was. Up here, we have much to discuss. If you say so, mate. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. So we're gonna save that till later, possibly. Wow. All right. Uh, okay. Crawl under here at all? No, I don't think so. Probably just through that door, I guess. Yeah, alright. Barasov, let's go... Let's go talk to the guy. Ha! 
Ah, <laughs> oh, just that little one. There you go. I just don't like to, you know, bend down and pick stuff up. Mm, okay. At this point, I think just walking around with my hand out is probably best, in a way, because it can do so much more, it, like, especially to the ticks. That tip was right. I think uh, the TMD is the answer for the ticks. It's not so much shooting them. Ah. There we go. Stim pack. I'm actually going to use that, if you don't mind. I don't think you'll need it. Cheers. There we go. These poor souls. Right. Which one's going to be speaking, I wonder? This is the audio log of Piotr Nikolski. All hell has broken loose on Katorga 12. A group of us is banded together and managed to stay alive. We are moving underground in hopes of hiding from the creatures. <laughs> Unfortunately, the tunnel is collapsed. We can't go any further. We are going to find some place to hole up for the night. Perhaps we can wait out this catastrophe. Or perhaps you can't. Because you didn't. Shame. God, everyone just made a, a horrible, horrible end. Oh, okay, hang on. Uh, cool. Alright. I need to try that in combat. See exactly what the effect might be. Thank you kindly. Okay, that's quite a lot of tech we've got now, really. Ugh, can't be that lazy. I <laughs> can't grab it from there. Oh. Oh, it's because it's a bioformula. Oh, stamina. Okay, sprint duration. That hasn't really been a thing for me yet, so again, I'm not too bothered with it. Ah, uh, okay, the Journal of Pavel Fedorov. Dr. Korkin just requested one of my junior engineers aid him with an experiment in the weapons lab. I sent Grigory Nikolsky. He's a very energetic young man. Korkin said he wouldn't need Grigory for more than two or three days. That's good, because we're close to finishing construction of the bridge, and I need him back as soon as possible. Ooh. How do I break this to you lightly? I don't think he's coming back. I'm sorry, I just don't. Right. Okay. Another one? Yeah, another one. And this one is Medic. Increases health. Oh, now that I'm interested in. Yes. Over here, we oh, hey. need to talk. Time is of the essence, Captain. Energy's new Spiros Titar. He could capture you very soon. Take that rail. Oh, sorry, uh, scientist. Okay, sometimes gain double from a single tech pickup. Interesting. Right. If only I'd picked that one up before. Never mind. It leads to the docks. Once there, you will recover the E99 bomb. Okay. With it, we can correct the timeline. Captain, right. The way is blocked. But if you take this ladder down, you should be able to fix the crane. Then I can get you to the other side. Damn it. Dimitrov knows you're here. Move <laughs> and fix that crane so I can get you to the other side. Alright, give me a sec. Hold that for a moment because I might actually make myself a little bit of an upgrade. So, let's go to uh, this. Medic. Health back effectiveness. Yeah, I think I want at least one of those. Uh, shall I get two? That would be greedy at this point. I'll, I'll save the rest. But yeah, okay, cool. Right, yeah. I think I might play until, like, the next save point. Is it cool? Fuck. <laughs> Fucking hell. There 
There we go. Sneaky headshots. I'm all about those sneaky headshots. Ow, and so are they, apparently. Thankfully, my head's made of fucking steel, so it doesn't hurt too much. Uh, hey, you can't shoot me if I can't see you? That's not fair. I mean, it totally is, but... Ah, finally got him. Ah, fuck. This thing is not quite as accurate as I'd like it. Maybe I should have a look at the upgrades in the weapons lock. Was accuracy one of them? I don't know if it was. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay. No more barricades for you. Nice. Oh, he's not dead. Still getting used to those death animations, gotta say. Never completely sure when they're dead. Ah, shit. Oh, here we go. That took a sweet ass time. What, what sort of like time was that? Seven or eight seconds? That's a little bit long, isn't it? What's the standard? Like four or something, I thought. Might be wrong. I mean, how do I possibly know, right? It's alternate future. Who knows? Nothing makes sense. I kind of want it back now that I'm actually here. I love the Valkyrie. Yeah, shotgun for the Zex. For the, uh, for the Soviets, I think it's the Valkyrie for me. That's it. No more yelling? No? Okay. Looking good. Ah. <laughs> Where's that coming from? Can't quite reach that. Right, yeah. Bit of an impasse, of course. And that'll be the crane. Right, so I need to fix the crane, don't I? What's up? This, the panelling, the wiring. Well done. I, will bring the crane over. I don't know where the sweet spot was, but it was somewhere there. Ah, shit. Oh, hey, look at this. Why not, right? Come on, be predictable. Please. You're making me look foolish now. Oh, okay. <laughs> he just ran off. He just ran away. No, I you know what? I think he's actually still there. Now who looks the fool? <laughs> right. Thank you very much. That'll do, I suppose. Right, yeah, so let's get on board. Oh, what we got here? What's that? It's not the Seeker. That's an, a new gun, I think. Sniper, right? Spike shot. Uh, right, it's a charged rail gun that fires an explosive spike. Right, that, that explains that, I suppose. Uh, brief delay to fully recharge. Okay. Oh, yeah, me, I guess. Oh, bloody hell. Let's go back to this. Maybe. Tell you what. <laughs> there we are. Three headless enemies. I like the sound of that.
Okay. Oh shit, hang on. So you can play that game. And I think I'm a little bit better at it. Although, to be honest, I am kind of cheating. Is that enough? Yeah, I think just a sniper shot wherever is probably going to finish them off, at least on this difficulty. You don't really need to go over the head. Where the hell are you? Ah, oh, there you are. And that was a bit of a waste. No, 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 no. Have it back. Shit. Oh boy. Alrighty. There's so many of them. Just lining themselves up for slaughter. Where'd that even go? Is that just a pit at you? Terrible, terrible thrower. Right, okay. <laughs> Where'd the shotgun go? I, I guess I just threw it off the edge or something? In rage? Right, we'll find... Yeah, okay, find the train. Um, I know we just saved again, but let's play a little bit more, because, you know, it looks like we're still sort of in this hectic section. We certainly are. There we go. Thank you. There you go. Don't make me cheat, guys. couple left. Let's advance. A lot of sort of waist-high walls. They play Gears of War. I know what's up. If you think about it, Gears of War really did change how a lot of sort of like action shooters and stuff were played, especially third-person ones. It's kind of crazy. Like the cover system, I, th I think, was introduced before that, you know? Like hitting a button to take cover behind certain things. But that really did popularize it. It's kind of crazy. I actually don't mind the trend, so to speak, but there was just so many games that had the same kind of gimmick over and over again. It just got a little bit too much. Oh, there you go. Right, you know what? I might want to swap this back over. Snipe is good, but not for everyday use. Why do I keep getting locked in? What? Oh my god. Keep falling into trap after trap after trap. Hang on, what's that? Oh, fuck. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think it phased away. Can it just turn invisible? That sounds really disturbingly close. Shotgun time! I definitely hit the thing, right? It can bleed. Oh, fuck. That wasn't me. It's moving around, or it's manipulating things around me, and I don't know how it's doing it. Right, okay, I got a blueprint for search and destroy. I like the sound of that. Gain more ammo from it. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, um, that's probably next on the list, to be honest. What the hell, dude? What was that? Right. Okay. Uh, we should probably follow it, even though it doesn't sound like it's coming from here. Right. Okay. Am I safe here? Safe-ish. Looks like we'll be heading through another one of these fans, but I think this is where I'm going to end part four. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you back in part five, which hopefully will be along very soon. See you then. Whoa, okay. Can I pull that through?
Yeah, it's just the right height. Okay, you got fucking armor now. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Let's try this instead. What the? Hang on. What? Oh, that was a close one. Son of a bitch. Captain Ranko, over here. Nice timing. Yeah. Oh, what? What's the button where I could do that? Can I get in? Uh, no. Reaching all the while that Russia has a technological advantage. It's Someone just mashed their keyboard for that, didn't they? <laughs> if he complains about that, I can only say that he taught me how to do that. Oh, what about that one? What's that one made of? The elevator will take you to the old rail line. Believe me, I fucking know. I've been hearing you moan about it for the last five minutes. Where are we going again? Pitiful, man! Come on, I could make that! It still lives after all this time. What's it? Oh, wow. Is that it? I wouldn't be surprised if we walk into a- Oh, God, no! <laughs> I got- Whoa, I got a wheelbarrow! But, well, don't think that's really gonna help me too much. What the fuck? <laughs> sneaky headshots. I'm all about those sneaky headshots. Ow, and so are they, apparently. Ah. <laughs> Where's that coming from? Come on, be predictable. Please. Why do I keep getting locked in? What? Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think it phased away. 